Hello and welcome to Modeling Misadventures. And in today's video, I'm going to carry on having a crack at this. The Pink Rolls Royce Fab One from Thunderbirds. Now in the last video, I had a crack at making Fab One using photogrammetry. And this was the rather pathetic effort that resulted from my first attempt. Now I did have another go and the second attempt was much better. And I came up with this, which at least looks somewhat similar to Fab One, but it's still nowhere near good enough. So I'm going to have to have another go using a completely different technique. So in order to create something like this, I'm going to go back to the computer and I'm going to have a go to see if I can make one using Tinkercad. Now Tinkercad is a basic 3D design software that's available for free online and it allows you to make some basic models uh, for 3D printing. Now it doesn't take long to start getting the hang of Tinkercad. You've got some basic shapes here that you can just import onto this work plane here. Uh, you can make the dimensions change very easily like that. You can bring other shapes in. I can make that shape into a hole. I can copy that shape, put it there, and then if I group everything together, we end up with something like that. That looks like the side of a car, doesn't it? So with a bit of work, maybe this could become the side of Fab One. So using those very basic techniques, I tried to see if I could make a side panel for Fab One, and I came up with this. And it doesn't look too bad, does it? Now, when you look at this side panel and compare it to this Matchbox toy, you can see that the wheel arches are too rounded. So I went back to Tinkercad and had another go and came up with this. And actually, it started to look pretty good. And I thought, well, maybe I'm onto something here. So then I had a go at trying to make the bonnet. And this is what I got. Now you can see it's not, it's not perfect. And um, with um, 3D printing, you can't print a perfect curve. It's all done in steps. So that's why this slope here looks to be steps. But that could be easily sanded down. And the lines on here could be sanding down. So I was getting pretty excited that this actually might be the beginnings of a 3D printed Fab One. So after a few evenings on Tinkercad, I managed to come up with this set of parts. Now, this is a side panel and I've managed to taper it at the front and back. Again, it's uh, stepped, but uh, that can be sanded. I've at the front managed to 3D print a little grill. Got the front of the car and the holes for the headlights. The bonnet. Here we've got the um, interior, the rear of the car and boot and the back of the car for the rear lights. So I'm going to have a go at gluing this together and see what it looks like. Now I reckon this has turned out pretty good. <laughs> you can see compared to the uh, photogrammetry effort, it is miles better. Nice clean lines and well, just look at that. So I'm really pleased with this, but I said right at the start of this project that one of the most difficult things would be to try and model this canopy. And trying to create a complex 
curves and shapes on Tinkercad is not easy and I've been fiddling with it for ages. So I've been playing around trying to create different shapes of canopy and none of them are exactly right. This one's probably the nicest because it's got the nice curved shapes all around it, but it's not accurate at the front. This profile here is not right. So the only way I think I can improve on these is to actually use them as a, a base template and then sand them down and try and get them to the right shape. But, you know, we're not far off with something that looks reasonable. Well, that's it for this little update. I'm actually very happy with my very first computer design model and it looks a bit like Fab One, doesn't it? So I'm going to persevere with this and in the next video, I'm going to start thinking about how to scale this up and uh, make it into a much finer model than what we've got here. But that's it for today. I'll say goodbye and I'll see you next time on Modelling Misadventures.